little shiny shinies. I like them shiny shinies. I like them shiny shinies. I like them shiny. Hey. What is up everybody, I'm Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where and how to find the rarest shiny in Pokemon Brick Bronze right now at the current time at present, um, which is after the Port Deck update. Now this rare shiny is actually a shiny Rayquazar Magikarp and it just looks so, so cool and I mean only, I think only one person right now has that Pokemon, which is insane. Uh, but anyway guys, I'm going to be showing you the best way to get it, and uh, exactly how to get it, and where to find it, in today's video. Before we get into it guys, don't forget to leave a like, click subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, to always be notified about my videos. Okay, so here we are in game right now guys, and I am in Port Deca. And uh, the first thing that we will need to get, guys, which is very important for this, is a certain Pokemon. Now, this Pokemon is a Lilip. Now, if you don't know how to get it, I will actually show you in a little bit. But this is the Pokemon right here, Lilip. And this is a fossil Pokemon. And I do have to say thank you to Ender Rogue YouTube, who actually gave me this Pokemon so that I could use. Now, there is something very specific we need about this Pokemon, and that is its ability to use suction cups. Now, I will explain a little bit later what we need that suction cups thing for if you don't already know. Uh, now, once we've got one of those Pokemons, or in case you don't actually have one of those Pokemons, I will fly to where exactly you need to go in order to get one. So, we need to go to Laguna Lake right now, guys. And uh, the unfortunate thing about this is that if you've used your free kind of pass thing on the submarine, um, then you will need to use Robux to try and get it. But I do assume that a lot of you guys will have friends who definitely have a Pokemon uh, Lilip, and you can probably just kind of trade it. Uh, and yeah, so this is the place that you have to dive down and try and get Lilip. It's a very kind of hard thing to do, considering that there's a lot of fossil Pokemon down there. Uh, so, you know, there's a good chance that you might get it. There's also a really bad chance that you might get it. So, like, yeah. Uh, but I would definitely say, go to your friends list or go to the trade resort and try and get this Pokemon with suction cups. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, we also need to do another thing, guys, and that is actually requires uh, Robux. That is actually requires Robux? No, that makes no sense. We That actually requires Robux. Uh, now, if you look on screen right now, guys, I am here on the Robux website on Pokemon Brick Bronze, and uh, if we just go to store like I am on right now, and we scroll down, you will see that there is a game pass for a magic pond pass, Bob's Magic Pond. Now, this is where we find the different textured uh, Pokemons, uh, or Magikarps, I guess, and uh, you will need to get that, guys. It is 150 Robux, which is kind of steep for some people, but uh, you never know. You might actually win my giveaway. I'm doing a Robux giveaway soon, which I will be giving, like, maybe 12, 13 people uh, 150 Robux if they win, so make sure that if you don't know about that yet, subscribe and wait for the announcement video. Uh, but here we are, right, and... Uh, as well as getting the Magic Pong Pass, it would be very, very wise of you to get the Shiny Charm, which is 500 Robux, unfortunately, but the Shiny Charm actually increases your chances a heck of a lot, and I mean a heck of a lot, guys. Okay, so if you don't know who this guy is, his name is Shypool, and he is a developer of Pokemon Brick Bronze. He's a pretty awesome dude, and he is pretty much responsible for the patterns on the new Magikarps, as far as I know. And uh, right here he says, the exact rates for a worst-case scenario encounter on a shiny Rayquazar Carp is... A, a 1 in 4, a 1, 4, 1, oh, 5, 6, which is uh, pretty crazy. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of shiny hunting right there. Uh, but that is without any of the, uh, the charm on or without suction cups. That is just kind of, yeah, just... Uh, randomly fishing and trying to get it. Uh, but the best odds is actually a 1 in 3033, which is not that bad, if I'm honest. It's... It, genuinely, it will take people a long time to get this Pokemon. They may never even get it, but uh, that's not a really bad kind of odd thing. I don't know. That's a really good odds. Now, the best odds, uh, which is the one in 3033, that is with uh, the uh, suction cups and with the shiny charm actually activated, guys. Uh, so definitely, definitely remember to get those two things. 
Now, we do go back to the actual game like I'm at right now, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is go and show you guys exactly where is this shiny pool of shiny carps. We're going to go to Port Deca, like so. And uh, we're also then going to go uh, through the root extender right here. So just through this little place. And uh, we should exit out of, uh, let's see, it's route 16, I believe. So yeah, we need to go to route 16. Uh, or Cosmos Valley, actually. It's Cosmos Valley. I messed up, guys. It's okay. And uh, once we're here, we're going to go to this little building right here, guys. And... Um, since you've already bought your shiny Magikarp pass, you're then able to go inside and actually start hunting some shiny carps. Or, you know, hopefully getting some shiny carps. Now, once we're inside, it will take you to the actual cave itself, which is the Magic Pond. And uh, here it is. It looks pretty beautiful. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. Um, and what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to make sure that we have our Pokemon uh, Lilip in our first slot in our party it has to be in your first slot guys and do not forget about that now another thing is um when we're trying to do this suction cup thing or this uh, i guess it's called shiny chaining um or fish chaining i guess you are not allowed to move at all i would recommend all you do is just click the water click capture the pokemon and uh yeah, that is all you do. Don't start typing to people. Don't start walking around because you will lose your streak. So basically, this is what I do, guys. I turn off my little chat so I can't see anybody at all typing to me because they put me off quite a lot. Um, and what I do is go to my RO powers and I actually choose a shiny charm like so or a shiny chance. And uh, with this increased, we now have a 1 in 3033 chance to get this Pokemon. Now, what I'm going to do is click the water. Choose Good Rod, and uh, every time you see the little exclamation mark pop up, we're going to click Yes, Capture It, and uh, we're going to hopefully see what that Pokemon is. There you go, just a normal Magikarp. Now, when you're doing the Suction Cup thing, you are not allowed to battle a Pokemon, you're not allowed to capture the Pokemon, you have to run until you get the Shiny Requazor Carp, because if you do anything other than clicking Good Rod and selecting that you want to capture the fish, you will lose your streak, so you must have to just click the water and uh, just kind of do it like that, guys. We can't battle any of the Pokemons, we can't capture any of the Pokemons until you find your shiny Requazar Carp. And uh, I know that can be kind of difficult sometimes for some people, it really can. It's, it's extremely difficult, actually. Uh, I think I've lost my chain around about three times since this update came out, and that is due to people coming around me, kind of swarming me, and kind of just being there typing crazy and I can't see the exclamation mark um so when I do this I kind of tend to go to a private server even though I'm not on one right now uh, yeah I kind of tend to go on a private server for myself um but that's just because everyone kind of swarms me and just doesn't leave me alone so it kind of puts me off and it wastes my time and uh, it's kind of sad for me actually last time it happened i was really annoyed i think i lost my uh, fish chain of around about i think it was like two hours i've been fish chaining for and i really missed it and i was like wow and then like six encounters later it was a requazar carp and i was thinking well that could have been a shiny Wow, I hate that dude who, who ruined my day. Because I even told him, why did you do this? And he was like, you're welcome. And I just ran off. And I was like, really, dude? Come on. It's so stupid. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is the best way to try and get a shiny Requazor Carp, which is, at the minute, the rarest shiny in the game, I do believe. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to get it. I will be shiny hunting pretty much endlessly endlessly until I get this thing. Or I will trade my uh, shiny Latios and uh, a couple of other shiny uh, kind of legends until I do get it because I really, really want it. And I also want a shiny Mew because shiny Mew is actually my favorite shiny as well as shiny Ditto. So yes, definitely cannot wait for that and uh, very excited. Anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you uh, kind of understood it completely and uh, yeah i wish you all the best of luck on your shiny requazar carp if you are trying to get it that is uh, other than that i wish you best of luck with your just normal requazar carp uh, but anyway guys thank you so much for watching have an awesome day and until next time i've been star lord oh, see you